I think I'm a little crazy. He was running down the street after it. Right through a red light. And it's in your DNA. It's not that heavy here. Concrete's ordered. Looks good. It's on. <laughs> Whoa. What did you do? That's the biggest chip I've ever seen. Man, I don't want to hear that. If Daryl hasn't flipped it yet, you won't flip it. Trust me. Good morning. It is five o'clock on a Thursday for me. Today we're going out to do a hand removal sidewalk. We're gonna take it out and pour it. I don't normally sign up hand removal work or not much of it anyways. I kind of got roped into this one. I'll explain it when we get to the job. But right now I'm gonna take this garbage out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Well, I mentioned a few videos back that a bird had created a nest in that wreath we have hanging on our door and at that time she was just uh, sitting on her eggs but now they hatched and uh, it's pretty cool watching them we put a piece of paper on the glass on the inside and then we put a little hole in the paper so you can peek right through face the beak with the birds and they don't know you're there it's pretty fun to watch the kids love it I'm not gonna bother them now the baby birds are in there mama's probably out looking for food she's very dedicated that's her whole life she flies off the nest and grabs i don't know what they eat bugs or worms and she brings them back and and uh, those are some very hungry baby birds i set up a camera i'll show you that footage problem right now with this nest is these birds are getting bigger and heavier and the wreath is just barely hanging on and it keeps tilting to the side and I really don't want this thing to fall so we're gonna fix them up just a little bit All right, well, that's pretty ugly on my front door, but at least I know this thing's not gonna fall down. Going to work. Morning, Scott. Morning. How's the coffee business? Good. All right. Yes. Yes, coffee in town, you can get it anywhere. Sure is. Hello, good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Thank You're you. Awesome. Have a great day, see you next time, thank you. Okay, it's 6.10, just pulling into the yard. There's nobody here yet, <clears throat> but that's all right. It's a beautiful day today. It's going to be about 72, 73 degrees, sunny, just a perfect day. Oh, Eric's right behind me. Eric's here. I think we're gonna bring some of these one by fours today. Cause I don't think I have enough gray forms to set the walk. It's a relatively long walk. It's about 75 feet or so. And uh, sometimes one by four scabbed together are actually a little bit faster than using these grays, especially if it's not <clears throat> real windy because they'll hold a little bit better. You can space your pins. And nobody screwed any of these caps on yesterday. What's up, Eric? What's up, man? Why are you here so early? I was here here. 20 oh. bucks. First one here. Daryl would have got it, but he wasn't here early. I'm just hoping he comes at all, because look at the dump truck again. Eric, pull that truck ahead a little bit. You got to throw a bunch of one by fours on. You know what we need today that nobody's going to like? What? The jackhammer. Oh. <laughs> I heard you say it's by hand. Yep, by hand. This sidewalk is by hand. Got it. It's not that heavy, Eric. Come on, pick it up. Oh, man. Came out. <sighs> Next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for Francisco. Francisco's here. He's smiling in there. He's all happy to be at work. That's the way it should be.
You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. We've been here for a long time. Everything's ready to go already. Really? Of course. I told him the last time Daryl parked the truck like that, he didn't show up the next day. Remember? Oh, yeah. Remember yeah. he was parked here like that? No. I'm going to call Daryl. Please leave your message for Some drive and dump truck again today. I get so tired of this game. I really do. So tired of it. Marcel's here. All right, I guess I'm driving dump truck again today. Right through a red light, dude. Right through a red light. All right, we just pull up on the job. I'll show you what we got going on. Well, my truck driver did not show up today again. It's seven o'clock. Unfortunately, the cycle is repeating itself. They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. And if that's the case, I think I'm a little crazy. Autumn hand are here. At least I know they're gonna show up. I know where they live. Very, very big houses in this neighborhood. So this is Brookfield. This is the same city that I live in. But this is a little nicer part of Brookfield. All right, so I'll show you what we're doing. This sidewalk right here. We're gonna cut it right here at this joint. And we're gonna remove it and replace it pretty much as is. So I told you guys that I kind of got roped into doing this. And I really don't like doing hand removals and I don't bit them. What happened here is this is a renter that rents this house and when i did the bid i bid the driveway and the sidewalk but then he emailed me back and he said the owner of the property just wants to know what the sidewalk cost separately as opposed to the driveway costs so i told him and then they emailed me back and said we just want to do the sidewalk <laughs> uh i went to just bid the sidewalk on its own but it is what it is i'm not going to tell them no so anyways we're gonna grab our jackhammer there are some pieces there at the end i'll be able to grab with the bobcat but most of it's hand removal jackhammer and wheelbarrows not really a big deal every once in a while jackhammering is good for the soul my truck driver didn't show up today must be nice to just come to work when you feel like it i always feel like it yes see that's because you're my daughter and it's in your dna we love to work it's part of the tomage blood <laughs> eric why are you making so much noise you should put cushions under the ramps francisco what yeah, francisco tell you I'm scared to take it down? you're scared to take the bobcat down oh. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never flip this machine over oh on the God. ramp <laughs> If Daryl hasn't flipped it yet, you won't flip it, trust me. Jump up there and unstrap that plywood too. And unstrap the beak and the breaker there. Need all that stuff. I think I'm gonna be able to get like one third of it with the Bobcat. Pull it. I didn't chalk a trailer once. I was working with my brother. This is like 20 some years ago. It was on a hill like this and he went and he had to grab something off with the bobcat or something and the trailer went all the way down the hill it missed all the cars it didn't hit anything but oh, he so was cool. he got out of the bobcat and he was running down the street after it like what are you gonna do if you, <laughs> you <can't stop. laughs> what are you gonna do if you catch it <laughs> you just gotta let it go man yeah. it's super heavy. <laughs> but anyways i learned my lesson when i was young always jog the tires <laughs> this job is gonna be Easy money. No comment, Eric? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be really easy. This was a long time ago, too. This was actually with my brother as well. We bid a hand removal sidewalk. It was in the backyard. You couldn't get anything, even if you wanted to. It was one foot thick, the sidewalk. Six inches of concrete poured on top of an old six inch thick sidewalk. It was. And we didn't have a jackhammer. It was a 20 pound sledgehammer, a breaker bar, and a pick. Yeah. Wow. Anyways, we were there for a while. We 
before I even put the Bobcat on the driveway or do anything at all. Just want to note, crack there in the bottom of the driveway. Some of the slabs are uneven. Chipping and everything going on. Settling here at the joint. You can see where the plow has been hitting everything. I was supposed to replace this driveway, as I mentioned earlier, but they're not doing it. So that's how things look right now. Always make notes especially for your new guys in business. Always make notes of damage. That thing's not gonna work. I won't even pull that out. That's not gonna work. If I remember correctly, somebody drove around with it hanging behind the truck <laughs> named, well, I won't say his name, yeah. but it starts with an E and it ends with Rick. Yeah, they go, they're right on the edge of the sidewalk, so that should be fun. We're gonna have to peel it up and put it back. And there's gotta be one that goes under somewhere. I don't wanna cut those lines if we can help it. Start hammering away. Make sure you wear safety glasses. Should wear ear protection too. It's on the truck. Marcel's here. Just wrap it up tight. Yeah, no, I got to put gloves on. Marcel cut his hand working on his car last night, so he's gonna wrap it up good. All right, I'm gonna dump the gravel off that's in here and then we'll load it up with the concrete. It's gonna be easy. Sidewalk's got wire mesh in it, which makes hand removal about twice as hard, maybe three times as hard. Take the white truck, go back to the yard and get the one by fours. I told Eric to throw him on the form truck this morning and he just completely forgot. Eric, pull that truck ahead a little bit. You gotta throw a bunch of one by fours on. You do need the belt. <laughs> He's like, I got that at six in the morning. I got, I got heavy oh, ready. And then remember when he pulled in, he was just sitting in the truck doing nothing. Yeah, no, no, because you. Because you, you told me yesterday. How are, hold on, hold on, hold on. how are you gonna blame hold that on, on him? Hold up, we go back yeah, tomorrow, right? Yesterday, right? Yeah, okay, yesterday. Yeah. He said, I'm gonna be there at 6 a.m. sitting there waiting for you. <laughs> so I could drive, because he doesn't want to drive. So I'm like, all right, it was a little deal we had. But I, I beat him. Okay, that's I that forgot though. Of that. You got this. But I got, I forgot. Here, what? You gonna know that? Yes. Man, I don't want to hear that. You got there at six in the I morning. I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. No, you didn't <laughs> want to get out of there. He's going to whip me cool. harder. He's yeah. going to whip me harder. Yeah, right. Well, As I take this out, you got to dig the edges like I was doing. We 
gotta appreciate the the, 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 the machine. machine. Yeah. Look at Ryan, this. we got these though. Look at this. Broken like nothing. So all the concrete's out, sides are all dug out, except for this last little bit Francisco was taken care of. It's 10 to 10 right now, concrete's at 12. Marcel's bringing some forms right now so we can get this set up. the forms in right now Francisco's putting felt drilling some dowels up there so the new sidewalk doesn't settle like the old one I'm gonna use some one buys along here so we just got the form set for the sidewalk still setting the heights it's 1034 it's not too bad considering it took us longer on the removal because of the wire mesh in most of it but going pretty good nice shape Eric coming along setting the heights Francis was just putting a few more pins in, stiffing it up a little bit. How's it going, Eric? It's going good. It's going good. Is that good enough? That looks good to me, Eric. Autumn's over here. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Grand. Grand? Great. Grand. All right, we just got to finish setting the heights. We're going to put some gravel in here, compact it, and uh, concrete's in an hour, a little less than an hour and a half. It's coming at noon. Andrew, it's Ryan from Victory. Hey, I got a 12 o'clock. Yes, sir. Uh, I need five and a half yards, six bag, low churred air, microfiber, five inch slump. Five Concrete's seven. ordered! I go dump that because my driver didn't show up. I just got back to the job. The guys are grading. Skid loader to the trailer and get so I can get the uh, compactor. Easy money. Easy money. How's the package business? You look good. How are you? Package business is easy money. Tell the oh, truth. Oh yeah, you just drop them off, deliver. That's it. And I you get all that overtime. Yeah, that's I've awesome. I've been waiting to see you guys. I'm in Brookfield all the time. <laughs> are you? I'm gonna find his house or find a job <laughs> they're working on. You found us. Yeah. There you go. I watched every video. So yeah. Keep up Thank the good you, work. man. Appreciate that. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. the superstar is not here. Oh. So no we're not worries. gonna be able to you meet him. But yeah, we got everybody else. So, mm -hmm. all right, man. All right. Have, have a, a great nice day. Fit. Thank you. I actually get the compact for once, ever. That's yours. Yes. That's your compact. It is. How does it feel? It feels good. Man, it's hard work though. It looks easy, but it's not. Hey, how's it going? Great, how are you? 
good, Jacob. Yeah, nice day today. Oh yeah. Good day for some concrete. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So everything going all right? Yeah, everything's going really good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna clean this street up and then uh, start sweeping. Concrete should be here real soon. Be nice to get this cleaned up first though. Then I don't have to worry about it afterwards. Look at Marcel, the hard worker. We're all here just doing nothing. The girls are over there doing nothing. And Marcel's out in the hot sun. <laughs> cleaning the street by himself. That's why he's the captain. Yeah. Concrete's here! What? Breaks over. Grab all the rebar. We got to put the rebar in. Should be on the side of the truck. Showtime! I'm just so happy we're getting some nice weather here. Finally, we deserve it. We deserve it after all that we dealt with all spring. Can't believe it's June, hey? Oh. It's gonna be the 4th of July in no time. How's the, di how's the diet? Huh? How's the diet? I just had broccoli and carrots and cauliflower. All right, I'm just checking up, man. I'm yeah. doing good too. Try to overlap them by like a good, like three feet or so. All right, we got some rebar in here. Looking for my mag. Uh, you can use mine right there, though. Can I use wait, wait, that one there, this one? Is yours? Yeah. Yeah, you can use it. You can use what it. about yours? I need help. You gonna make oh, me no, do no, it? No, no, no. I got you, got you. You're gonna make me do everything, Eric? We got a four foot strike off out. Okay. Grab that aluminum uh, strike off four footer. Oh, Eric gives me one that's covered in concrete. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Thank you. You can't put that there. That's where the power buggy goes. Pull the inside pins as you go. Give me a hand. And good job pulling our rods. Just keep it up. See Hannah, now you get to see how we make it easy money. Right? <laughs> like all that shoveling this morning and breaking the concrete out with a wheel, that was so easy. And now this is the, this is the easiest part right here. You just slop it all over the place and smooth it out and collect thousands of dollars. Donuts Auto for a lunch. Wow. Autumn, you want to bulk float that up there? Autumn, you go sideways till it's pretty smooth, and then you push it this way once, once or twice going long ways. She's better than you her very oh, first time. Right on my heart, man. <laughs> So you really gently want to start and then the same thing on the other side when you bring it back you just tilt it enough <coughs> to get the back end off the concrete and then you start bringing it back make sure you don't get any over the edge keep it nice and clean Thank you for all your fine work. You gotta jump. You got long legs. Go. 
Wow, you barely made it. You made it by like a half an inch. All right, that went really good. Concrete's really nice, it's creamy. I'm gonna run the bull foot up one time. I gotta grab another pole. When I do sidewalks, I always bull float them across and then I'll run the bull float up one time or two times, just like you see me doing now. Really flatten it out. You stuck Francisco on the bush side. I see that too. All right, that looks good. Guys will edge it and you know the drill. Cut the joints, start finishing and we'll clean this mess up and get out of here and we're on to the next one tomorrow. Tomorrow we got a real nice, pretty good size colored and stamped patio with I think three steps coming out the patio door. I haven't been there in so long, I can't even remember, but it's a good sized patio. Weather's supposed to be perfect again tomorrow. Hey, hang on a second. Let me get some of this water out of here. Okay. All right, I'm just hooking up the truck. Guys are edging up there. I'm gonna try to get everything loaded up here. Everything tied down before I cut the joints. Should have time. We'll see. Then when we're done finishing, I can leave with everybody else. All right, I was trying to clean up, but Eric said it's ready for joints already, which is surprising. He's probably just scared. Scared. Make sure you don't rub any leaves in. Nah, it ain't ready for joints yet. Feels really sticky though. I got 10 minutes. I can get the Bobcat on the trailer at least. Get the compactor loaded up. You don't want to try, Hans? Huh? How do you know if you're doing those straight? Well, you just watch as you go and make sure they're straight. It's very easy. Okay, Hans, you try this one. You tilt it up a little bit as you push forward and then backwards. And you just go a little bit at a time. Give it a shot. I'll make it straight, Hannah. Tilt it up a little more so it's digging. <laughs> keep, keep going, you're getting it good. You're gonna know all about concrete by the end of the summer. You'll be pouring your own concrete with autumn. You guys will be doing side jobs and everything. Two sisters concrete. That'll be good. Now bring it all the way back to you and push it all the way forward again. Beautiful, Hans. Let me see. It looks perfect. Nice job. It's one less join I have to do now. You saved me you saved me like a good negative 10 minutes right there. All right, everything's tied down. Guys are up there finishing. I'm gonna go start brooming. Now when everybody's ready to leave, I'm ready to leave too. What did you do? 
That's the biggest chip I've ever seen. Your fifth pin and he... Wow! <laughs> That's bad. Clean up, clean up. Just picking up our mess and we are done. I got it. All done. We're migrating over here. Autumn. Yep. Hannah, pick up some of these sticks. Heck. Pick up sticks. You ever play pick up sticks? Yeah. It's pretty much the same thing, but heavy duty. Thank you. Perfect, Autumn. Perfect. Just don't pinch your fingers. Hannah, if you work all summer really hard, you can save up for a Kia in the fall. Your birthday's in November. What color do you like? Victory style red? There's three more. We're all staring at them, but who's gonna grab them? We're each gonna get one. Okay, I'll get one now. <laughs> Perfect. I got the pins there. I don't need somebody to hold my hand to hold the, to put the pins away. I know you guys like to put the pins away together, but <laughs> <laughs> I got I got it. All right, a few more things to clean up, and we are done for the day. Let me see what time it is. 2:36 right now, so not too bad, considering it took us a little bit longer to get the walk out. But I'm still happy with it. Still did good today. Still made some good profit on this job. And that's the main thing. Make a happy customer and make money. If you do those two things on every job, you're golden. Oh, look at Eric. How strong are you? Man, doing your shoulder shrugs. I can see your traps are popping already. All right, girls, thanks for your help today. Very nice job, especially with the pickup sticks. Good job, Hans. We got to do a little raking all the way around. And then uh, we'll tuck those wires back in the edge too. Clean this up a little bit here. I'm gonna tuck all these wires back in for him. And then he can just put some topsoil back over them. We didn't break any of the wires, thankfully. We didn't even nick any of the wires. But there was plenty of wires in our way. Oh, you know what? I need some money. I almost forgot to get paid. Hi. Hi. You got my money? You do. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you. All for right. Out yep. Have a great day. We are all done. Sidewalk turned out nice. Everything's cleaned up. All the tools are put away. And that's going to do it for this one. All right. Tomorrow we'll start a new project. A nice stamp patio. I'll see you guys over there. Adios. Adios. Adios, everybody. Hasta luego, amigos.